Hello and welcome to this video on ratio when the total amount or one of the amounts is given. Now let's just suppose we have 36 sweets and it's split between Alice and Bob in the ratio 4 to 5. How many sweets does each person get? Now we can think of each of these numbers within the ratio as a certain number of parts. So this represents four parts and that represents five parts. And we want to work out what one part is so we can subsequently work out the answer. So we think that 36 sweets, does that represent one of the particular numbers in the ratio or the total of the two numbers? Well, the 36 sweets is the total amount of sweets and therefore represents the total number of parts. And 4 plus 5 would give you 9 parts. So we say that 9 parts in the ratio represents 36 sweets. Now we want to work out what each person has. So Alice has four parts, we need to work out what four parts is worth. And Bob has five parts, we need to work out what five parts is worth. So we generally go via one part. So if nine parts is worth 36 sweets, one part is, well, nine times less. So we can divide by nine. And that means one part is worth four sweets. And now we can work out what four and five parts is. So four parts would be worth four times as much as one part. So four times four is 16 sweets. And five parts, which is what Bob gets. Well, five parts is five times more than one part. Five times four is 20 sweets. So this is what Alice gets because she gets four parts. And this is what Bob gets because he got the five parts in the ratio. And let's just check, do these add up to 36 sweets? Well, yes, they do. 16 plus 20 is 36. And 16 to 20 is in the ratio 4 to 5. Now, let's solve some other questions. We've got a very similar one here. I've got 30 pounds and it's split between Sheila and Leif in the ratio 3 to 2. So we've got Sheila and that's what Leif gets. How much does Leif get? Well, we think, does that 30 pound given represent one of the particular parts in the ratio or the total parts? Well, 30 pounds is the total amount we had. So therefore, 30 pounds represents a total of these parts, which is five. So five parts is worth 30 pounds. So then we work out one part. So one part is five times less, which is six pounds. And then we want to work out how much Leif got. Now, Leif got the two parts in the ratio. So we work out what two parts is worth. Now, if one part is six pounds, then two parts would be twice as much, which is 12 pounds. So that is the final answer. That's what Leif got. What about the second question? The ratio of cats to dogs is five to seven. So let's write that down, five to seven. That's the cat's parts, that's the dog's parts. If there are 20 cats, how many dogs are there? Now that figure of 20 we're given, the 20 cats, what does that represent the ratio? Is it the five parts there, or the seven parts there, or the total parts? Now this time the 20 cats is referring to one of the particular parts in the ratio. If it's cats to dogs, it's that five we're interested in, the five parts cats. So therefore, the five parts, which is the cats in the ratio, represents 20 animals. So we can work out what one part is. One part is going to be five times less. Five times less than 20 is four. So one part represents four animals. And we want to work out how many dogs there are. Well, in this ratio, it's cats to dogs, five to seven. So it's seven parts dogs. So we want to work out seven parts, which is seven times as much as one. Four times seven is 28 dogs. And with the very last one here, Alice, Bob and Charles share sweets in the ratio 3 to 7 to 8. So Alice, Bob and Charles. Bob received 20 more sweets than Alice. Now again, we think that figure of 20 we're given, what does it represent in the ratio? We're told it's the number of sweets more Bob received than Alice. So therefore, it represents the difference between these number of parts, because that's the number of parts that Alice got, and that's the number of parts that Bob got. So the difference in the number of parts is four. So therefore, four parts represents 20 sweets. 
Therefore, one part, we always work out one part, represents four times less, which is five sweets. And we want to work out how many sweets there were in total. Now, what in the ratio kind of refers to the total amount of sweets? Well, it's the total number of parts. So we just add these together, 3 plus 7 plus 8 is 18. We want to work out what 18 parts is worth. And so we just times 5 by 18, and we get a total of 90 sweets. And that is the answer.